I was maybe harsh on Bruno Mars. I probably should have given him a bit more respect. I should have put some respect on his name. Welcome back everyone, my name is Max, this is The Rap Sheet and if you're new to this channel, think about pressing that subscribe button. Today we're taking another look at Silk Sonic. This one's called Smoking Out The Window, I think it's something like that. Anyway, I've just kind of got onto Silk Sonic, aka Anderson Pack and Bruno Mars. Wow. The Anderson Pack vibe I loved anyway. The Bruno Mars vibe was very hit and miss for me, very hit and miss. Mostly miss, in my opinion. These two together though? Ooh, it just works. So, we're not gonna wait any longer with this one. We're just gonna get straight into this one. So, do you know what time it is? Silk Sonic time. Gold digger vibes. I'm stopping the sorry because I've just realised I haven't stopped it yet. <laughs> I've been enjoying the song far too much. Very Gold Digger vibes, like Kanye West Gold Digger song. Uh, Taking the kids to Chuck E. Cheese, putting Tiffany's on them. Basically sounds like she wants me to pay for all of her stuff. Now I don't know if the album is a concept album, if there's going to be like a story throughout the songs. Or if all the songs are going to be of a certain type, let me know. I believe the album's out now, but I'm not sure. But yeah, so there's something about this whole vibe. The whole kind of, the music video and everything is very of its, it's very nostalgic. Um, so I've got a feeling, not definite, but I've got a feeling maybe this is a concept album. If I'm wrong, correct me. But I wanna die. This bitch got me paying a rent. <laughs> these shots these are very oh who is it who did this i don't know but there was some old school band i'm sure who did something like this I just break down the rating style. Oh. 
I wanted more of that. That was, I either was enjoying it a lot, or it was a very short song, but I wanted more of that. That, but, do you know what that song remind, made me, sorry, not remind me of, it made me think, I was maybe harsh on Bruno Mars. I probably should have given him a bit more respect. I should have put some respect on his name, but I am now. Like I say, I've never hated Bruno Mars. There's been an element, that, like I say, there's been certain aspects when I've heard him, I thought, I'll give him credit for that. But I've never been a big fan of Bruno Mars. I'm now admitting I was wrong. And that takes a man. This is a band I want to go see live. I'll tell you that much. I can't remember the last gig I went to. Plan B, Wu-Tang, <laughs> Lethal Bizzle, if you're from the UK and you know Lethal Bizzle. Imagine everyone just brothers in arms. How could you do this to, how could you do this to me? Yeah, sorry, I'm going off on a tangent there. Um, we're just going to leave it here today. If you're new to this channel, think about pressing that subscribe button. Other than that, my name's Max. This has been The Rap Sheet. Thanks for watching. One love. Peace.